Hey folks, it's me again, Dr. Cole. And today I wanna to talk with you about salad dressings. We get so many questions about what people can use for their salads. And remember, the reason we should be eating lots of salads is because we should be eating lots of vegetables. It's God's healing food. That's the only way I can describe it. It's lowest in calories, highest in nutrients, high in fiber. And so these are nutrient dense foods that a lot of you really need to try to get into your body. And if you don't like vegetables a lot, salads are a great way to do it because you can put dressings on the salad to give it some taste. But the problem is so many of the salads out there today, oh, I forgot to, to mention this. If you're gonna like this information, go to coldclass.com or click on the link above. We have a lot of information there relating to what we teach about health and how this, this all ties together. But anyway, back to the salad dressing. Uh, the problem is so many of the salad dressings out there have bad oils. I mean, just like the vast, vast majority of them are just rotten for your health. And uh, people are, you know, you're ruining something good. You're putting, the analogy that I use is like trying to get in shape and start a, starting an exercise program while you're smoking cigarettes. You have this wonderful salad and then you're dousing it with inflammatory causing oils and by that I mean inflammation down at the cell level of your body, right? What we always talk about, it's your foundation. If you're sick, it's because your cells are sick. If you don't fix the cell, the person's not gonna be well. The membrane of that cell, guys, where the good stuff gets in and the bad stuff gets out, that semi-permeable membrane is called a bilipid layer, two layers of fat. And so we need to have healthy fat to fix that membrane. It doesn't matter if it's in your gut, if you're having brain issues, then your brain cells are inflamed. No matter where in your body you're having issues, it's, it's traceable back to that cell level of your body. So these people are taking this healthy salad and they're dousing it with these inflammatory type of oils like uh, dressings with canola oil or vegetable oil um, you know, you'll see a lot of things out there with like sunflower oil, safflower oil, these denatured oils, and even even uh, olive oil, which I'm going to do a video on video on shortly. A lot of it's not extra virgin olive oil; it's denatured, and it's not going to be healthy for you. It's going to be inflammatory causing oils, denatured oils, right? Rancid oils is another uh, way to describe it. So what I have for you today is I wanna show you an example. Uh, and this, I'm not picking on any particular company, but ranch dressing is a big one, right? That's what a lot of people love. And your conventional re uh, ranch dressing, if you were to sit here and read the ingredients of on, and soybean oil is the number one oil in this. It's a denatured oil. It's gonna cause inflammation in your body. And so you wanna keep away from these these commercial oils that you see, uh, these commonly uh, used oils that are in every store, right? And you wanna go to a healthy salad dressing. Now you can make your own, own with extra virgin olive oil and maybe a squeeze of lemon or extra virgin olive oil with some sort of a healthy vinegar, like, a, a, like Bragg apple cider vinegar. That's gonna be a, a healthy dressing for you. Or what you can do is you can buy Bragg has their own ginger sesame and there. I think they have four different kinds, but Bragg salad dressing is healthy. And then my favorite is from a company called Primal Kitchen. They've got a bunch of different ones. I'd say maybe at least six, I think maybe even eight or even more, but it's made with avocado oil, right? This Bragg dressing that I didn't tell you about, it's made with extra virgin olive oil. And then this here is made with avocado oil, which is a healthy oil. And with Primal Kitchen, this one here is their Greek flavor. But with the avocado oil, with the extra virgin olive oil, this membrane that is damaged now is, is made of fat, right? Two layers of fat. When we take in healthy fats, we're gonna be able to heal this membrane. And again, if it's your gut, if it's your brain, where so many sim people today we see these symptoms concentrated in, right? Whether it's the, the uh, you know, acid reflux or heartburn or constipation, diarrhea, and we have people with poor memory, we got brain fog, anxiety, depression, fatigue levels, right? We wanna fix the cell and we want healthy fats to do that. We want a lot of nutrients in your body. 
big salads are, are the way to go, and then a healthy dressing, which will give you the fat to help heal that cell. So I hope this helps you guys. Hope she help, it helps you understand the difference between bad salad dressing and good salad dressing. One promotes disease, one promotes health. If you love this information, share it first of all with other people, but also click on the link above or go to coleclass.com. We have a ton of great information for you. God bless you all. Bye.